Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Kim Skogwell and today we'll be taking a look at the curves layer adjustments in Affinity Photo. And this is, I'll prefer this over the levels one. If you haven't seen the levels uh, tutorial yet, go check it out here. There's going to be a link somewhere on here. Uh, and then come back to this. Uh, if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, the bell button, leave your comments down below and uh, let me know what other tutorials you would like me to do. Hey, here we are back inside of Affinity Photo again and uh, we'll be taking a look at the Curves Adjustment Layer 2 and that's my favorite one out of the uh, Levels Adjustment and Curves. They do the same thing. I would just feel you got more uh, finesse with the curves and again you can access it, access the curves layer adjustment layer from layer down here to adjustment layer and then uh, to curves or you can go down here to adjustments hit it scroll up a little bit it curves and you can see it pops up here it gives us a nice histogram the same as the levels that we just looked at. So if you haven't looked at the levels adjustment layer, you can do that right now. Pause this video, go check that out, and then come back and look at this. So again, this is the tonal range of this image. We have the black point, dark shadows, absolute black here. If I move this up to the right, we take the black spots and make them more dark. And if we move it up, we lighten up those shadows and dark points. And if we go here and take the right top corner pull it down here that will darken the highlighted spots the whites and if you go to the left up top here that will brighten the highlight spots the cool thing is you don't have to use only those two here uh, we just move this in here so we change that black point just to where the information starts and then we're gonna move this one in just to where uh, where you can see the highlight information starts. And that has changed the picture a little bit already, giving it some more contrast. If this was a portrait, you usually want to make an S curve. So you raise up the highlights a little bit, and then you do take down the, uh, the shadows here. That gives it more contrast. I'm gonna, if you don't want to do this, you can click it and hit the delete key. Let's see to remove those nodes or you can put reset up top here so what we're going to do to start with we're going to take right here that first top right corner we're going to lift those highlights just a little bit then we're going to go down here to the second square right here or the first square on the shadow side and now we have adjusted the image given a whole lot of more contrast. So now we're gonna go in here to our master channel, switch that to red. And we're gonna go to the center. We're just gonna lift it a little bit. Now we're gonna go down to the blue one since we have a whole lot of blues. So if you lift it, it turns more blue. If you drag it down, if you take away blue, you're gonna get more yellow. We're just gonna lift it just a touch. And then we're gonna go here to green. Drag down the green just a little bit because we don't have any green. So now we're gonna go back here to the master. And if we wanted to, we could raise the levels of it, but we don't. So I'm gonna delete that one and we're gonna keep this S curve here. And the same thing here, we have the grayscale RGB CMYK or a lab for print and uh, online distributions. Now you can see we have changed this picture quite a lot, but it's pretty dark over here. If I move this levels layer up here, again, turn this off, you can see the difference between the two. What I like to do is to do the first adjustments on the levels and then open up curves after that. And now we start working on fine tuning the image because now you can see it's all of a sudden it's end to end here with color information so I'm gonna raise here just a little bit take this down just a touch see that's a very slight S curve we could do a reverse S curve bring down the highlights and up the shadows and then we go in here to the reds go to the center 
bring them up a little bit and then I'm gonna take away some of the green here just a touch and put in a little bit of the blues and now you can see we have colored the photo too and it looks gets gives it a little bit warmer look to it than just the levels and if we just use the cursor you see we haven't changed it too much we just changed the colors so that's what I recommend use the levels first to make your your big adjustments just to get it to somewhat close to what you want it to be and then you go in and define adjustments with curves adjustment layer that's it if you like this video smash that subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be posted on my next video for affinity photo or my product reviews thank you See you all next time.